Everything about a concealed firearm is a compromise, size, weight, and so forth. SIG has always managed to stay ahead of the game. In fact, they're setting the standard with the 365, the 365 XL, and now the X Macro. Uh, we're going to talk about it and we're going to shoot it. This is an interesting little gun. Stick around. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in while we talk about the 365X Macro and we actually put it up against the 365XL and even the one that started it here, the 365 and a couple others just to see how it all works. I want to thank uh, my friend and uh, Anna Arms employee extraordinaire Rob Grubb for bringing, back, uh, bringing by his 365X Macro for me to try out. I don't have one. The question is when I get done here, will I want one? We're going to try it. The uh, gun is rather interesting because it really is about the same size as the 365 XL, uh, at least slide lengthwise. Sight radius, it's not. It's got a 3.1 inch barrel on it, which makes the barrel on the X Macro the same barrel length as a regular 365. Yet the the slide itself is 365 XL uh, length, but that's because of the comp in the end of the slide. The barrel itself is uh, just about a half inch shy of the end, mainly because of that comp. Now, compensators at the very end of the uh, of the barrel or end of the slide don't do as much as uh, compensators or ports farther back. We're going to uh, talk about that here in a little bit, but it does uh, seem to help. We did shoot it a little bit off camera. We're going to shoot it more on camera, and it does seem to have a little better recoil impulse than the regular 365 XL. Size-wise, again, from the back there, almost the same. Now, bear in mind that this is a 17, well, I probably ought to put the magazine in here. The macro is a 17 round gun versus a, right now, a 12 round gun in the 365 XL. And you can see there's a little bit of difference in the grip. The uh, XL is just a hair shorter, but not much when you actually look at them side by side this way. Uh, with a tandem or uh, tactical development base pad on there, there's almost no difference between the 12 round and the 17. We put a 15 round mag in here. In the XL and put that side by side with the 17 round in the X macro. And I'm sorry folks, but that extra two rounds is about the same, uh, same size uh, as the uh, regular XL. There's a little bit more grip hanging down on the XL. It uh, seems like there's actually a little less on the uh, X Macro. Uh, one other thing that I found that uh, that is a little different on the X Macro than it is on the uh, the XL. Got to let the camera catch back up there. The grip feels like it's a slightly larger diameter on the uh, X Macro, and it also has a replaceable back straps, which you don't get on the XL. Uh, and, and even the XL with a Wilson grip, which I like the feel of, uh, still doesn't seem to feel the hand quite as well as the X Macro. So I think SIG um, actually made an improvement on that by changing that grip size just a little bit. Now, the mags are still interchangeable uh, one way. You can take the 17 round mag from the X Macro and put that in the XL, not the other way around mainly because of the grip length. All right, enough talking about them. Let's, uh, let's take them out to the range and see how they work. 365X Macro, some 124 grain BPS, cheap e ammunition made in Turkey. Got 15 rounds of it loaded up here. Let's just see how it works at 12 yards. Start with the eight inch on the left. And the plates. All right, I think I'm starting to like this gun. Let's see how it works over at 25 yards. SIG 365X Macro, again, BPS 124 grain ammo. Got 15 rounds loaded up in this 17 round mag. We're gonna try it at 25 yards. Still got iron sights on it. Now this uh, is red dot capable. It's got an optics plate on the, or a cover plate on the back you can remove. The nice thing about the X Macro compared to uh, some of the other SIG models is uh, the now got smart and the rear sight stays on the gun. Now they aren't going to call witness unless you've got a really low mount red dot on there, uh, but you can also probably get higher sights for it. So right now we're still shooting irons, although it is red dot capable. Let's see if I can still make irons work. 25 yards. I'm going to start with the 
black one on the left 12 inch black with a white center 8 inch next to it oh come on that was me it's 8 inches it's only 25 yards should be a piece of cake All right, again, that's uh, that's the, the Indian, that's not the arrow. Let's see if I can get the head flipper on the black silhouette. All right, can I get it back? Uh, let's see, 10 inch way over there on the right. Looks like it's hitting a little low left. Let's try the six inch right next to it. All right, how about the center of the red silhouette? Can I get it back? There we go. And one shot left. Uh, white, 8 inch with the red center right next to the black silhouette. There we go. Does seem to have a nice, uh, a, a nice recoil impulse to it. Now this model is not available with the safety, whereas the other Sig models are available with a manual safety, which I like, and that'd be the one thing that'll keep me personally from uh, wanting to go to the X Macro. But again, that's just personal preference. Uh, the idea of changeable back straps on it, good texture, good feel, typical Sig, and I'm beginning to like that uh, recoil impulse. Does have a pick rail on it, which unfortunately keeps it from working in your standard 365 XL holsters. It just doesn't work with that rail. However, it is a 1913 rail, not a proprietary SIG type rail, which makes it uh, more suitable for hanging whatever you want to hang from the front of your defensive handgun. Let's try it out at 50 yards, see how it works over there. There's really no substantial weight difference between the X Macro and the 365 XL. Again, uh, basically the same size gun. Um, with the uh, the shorter barrel on it, uh, you're losing what uh, about a half inch uh, barrel between the the two. Sight radius is uh, about the same as it'd be on a regular 365. And yeah, just happen to have one of those here, so you can see where the the sight radius. If I can get the camera to cooperate here in the light, sight radius between the 365 and the and the X Macro just about the same even though the overall length is about XL size. All right, let's uh, see if I can make this iron sighted gun work here at 50 yards. All right, 50 yards, first uh, five rounds out of here are gonna be the BPS, and the next 10 are gonna be Salyard Balot, uh, they're all 124 grain. Let's just see if I can make something work here at 50. And of course, we'll start with a silver gong on the left. It'd probably help if I chamber it around, do you think? Rookie mistake. All right, silver gong on the left. 16 inch, high right. Oh, come on, it's 16 inches, it's only 50 yards. There we go. All right, so the gun's shooting just a hair left, or maybe I'm shooting it just a hair left but it took a little bit to get the 16. Let me do the 16 one more time. There we go, how about the 12 inch below it, white with a red center. All right, again, it's, it's me, it's not the gun. I know that SIGs are very much capable of hitting those things at 50 yards. Let's go for the 10 inch, black, white with a black center. There we go, eight inch below it, white with the red center. All right, I'm gonna try the six. I got, uh, what, four or five rounds left. I'm gonna try that six, it's sitting partly in the shadow there, white right next to the silver gong. All right, even a blind squirrel can find a nut occasionally. Let's go back to the silver gong, I like the sound of it. 16, silver gong, there it is. When I do my part, 365 XL is, uh, excuse me, 365 X Macro is doing its job. 365 X Macro, if you're carrying in uh, appendix inside the waistband uh, where grip makes less of a difference, then obviously this is gonna conceal quite well. But remember that's 17 rounds versus, there's a 15 round magazine in the 
um, regular 365 and uh, sorry folks you, the advantage is still going to the X macro um, but if you're carrying deep concealment or at least trying to then go to the 10 rounds obviously in the regular 365 and it's a much more concealable package however or how most people are carrying these days 365 x macro is getting the job done uh, again 3.1 inch barrel but an xl slide by the way this is still modular so you can swap the upper swap swap the frames put a, a different kind of uh, frame on there all with the same serialized fire control group and interesting now how does that compare with the um there, there are other compensated models don't have one to shoot it next to so i don't know um, i did shoot it a little bit next to my glock 48 that has the uh, zafiri upper in it and has a ported barrel and slide and um, i noticed that the, the recoil impulse is probably pretty similar this is a slightly lighter gun the glock is um, but it uh, also because of the, the layout of the ports seems to tame the the muzzle rise just a little bit better all subjective stuff until you start getting instruments on it which i'm not about to do so and uh conclusion my thoughts on the x macro um okay i like it uh, am i going to get rid of my regular 365 xl in favor of it uh probably not so many guns so little time so little money anyway that's just my take on it your mileage may, uh, may vary uh, nice gun just uh, not quite ready for me to swap out yet thanks for stopping by now the x macro we're going to talk about it we're going to shoot about it Shoot about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, take two.